Now, St. Augustine Beach is getting tons of sand pumped onto it. It's part of an ongoing beach renourishment project, but the latest schedule shows the beach project will overlap with the start of sea turtle nesting season. First Coast News' Jessica Clark explains what's going to happen then. Uh, every morning we come out. Bob Frazier leads the Sea Turtle Patrol in St. Augustine Beach. We uh, monitor seven miles from Pope Road to Cubbage Road at Crescent Beach. He and volunteers look for the newly made nests that are created under the sand by the dwindling population of sea turtles. Sea turtle nesting season starts May 1st, but something else will still be happening on St. Augustine Beach by then. Beach sand is being pumped onto the beach in a $12 million beach renourishment project. And the latest word is the project will continue into late May. Uh, the original plan was to do it before turtle season, but uh, other factors like the, the weather and stuff has pushed it back. The beach renourishment project says timing is tricky. The goal is to finish before hurricane season and sea turtle nesting season, which both start May 1st. But that didn't happen this year. Some environmentalists and sea turtle lovers are concerned that the construction equipment and large renourishment project will negatively impact sea turtle nesting season. But Frazier is staying positive. Last year, if, if I were to go by last year's numbers, I didn't have a nest in this area until June. And by then, the beach project is expected to be done. And if a mama turtle ends up laying her eggs in an area where the beach is being renourished, Frazier says volunteers come actually move the nest to an area where there's less activity. It's not ideal to move a nest, but there's a 12 hour window where you can move it. But after the 12 hours, the, the yolk and the albumen start to attach to the shell. So you can't uh, interrupt that cycle once that begins. Oh, look at you. The goal is to save and protect as many sea turtle nests as possible so the little baby sea turtles can hatch and scurry off to the waves. You know, as, as, as much as you see it, it just never gets old. It's always different. It's amazing. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side.